Um, I, I agree that we should all do the right thing. I agree we are all here to do the right thing. We are all um, doing that, and that's why we're, we're working here. However, I don't think this is the right thing. I vehemently oppose this amendment for a number of reasons. First is if we say everyone who works for the township should get a $15 minimum wage, we can't even say that. Everyone on this, on this dais right now is working for the township. We cannot pay ourselves $15 minimum wage. We already have an exception. If we were going to make an exception for the rule, I think just like in the federal minimum wage law, which has an exception for students and people under 20 years old, that would make sense as well here. I think we are trying to create a policy based on the exception to the rule. And I think that's a huge mistake. Um, second, our part-time summer workers are happy. Um, I, I spoke with our, our director of parks and recreation. I spoke to our, our library director. Um, in, the, in the parks department, we have an 80% return rate. 80% of the people who are here come back the next year. They are happy, they are satisfied. Um, we heard from uh, Ms. Coleman earlier, her, whose sons work for the township, um, talking about the social aspect and how, how it is a great place to work. We don't get complaints. These students are getting experience. They're here for the social aspect. The camp counselor job and lifeguard jobs and other uh, jobs, they, they are fun jobs. They are good summer jobs. Um, they are low stress jobs. They are treated leniently. They're not, these are, these are treated as a learning experience. We heard somebody before say, oh, well, if, if they're interns, we should call them interns. Whether we call these students interns or not, they're here for the experience. They're here for learning. They are not here to make a living. Um, we, and, and whether they are here for making a living or not, what, what their motivation is, is, is really irrelevant to us. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard that loud and clear, and, and I agree with that. But this job is truly is a, is a learning job. If we double the pay, and don't get me wrong, that's what we would be doing, because currently in 2021, you know, the lowest level is 750, doubling that to $15 an hour. By doubling the pay, these jobs will change. These will have different applicants for the jobs. We will have people with more experience applying for these jobs. And, and really, we have a real risk of killing an entire program that allows high school and, and college students to get their first work experience working for the township because you're going to end up getting people who are a lot more experienced applying for these jobs. And this very successful program you know, is, is being risked thrown out the window. Um, another thing we're doing is we're undermining our professional staff. We're, we're overruling those who are closest to the situation. We're ignoring their advice, their expertise, their years of experience. Our directors came to us asking for a $2 an hour raise for the lowest jobs. And instead, we're, we're saying, Yo, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. We should do something totally different from what you're requesting. Um, we have a great professional staff. We've heard that before. Profession, uh, uh, Commissioner Courtney early on said we applaud our staff, and, and they deserve it. They do deserve it, and they deserve our respect, and they deserve us listening to, to them and, and their experience. Um, Additionally, I, I, I feel we have a real risk of hurting and not helping those who are most economically disadvantaged in our township. Whether we pay for this through increased rates for the summer camps and the pools like we have done through our policy through the years, or whether we increase taxes or whether we just put more pressure on our budget, somehow this has to be paid for. It's not a free program. Um, and even a small increase to our taxes, while it might not affect a lot of people up on this dais, it will affect those who are most disadvantaged in the township, especially in light of an 8% increase from the county, especially in light of a school tax that's going up constantly, inflation on gas prices, food prices, everything else. Um, another issue that I, that I really have with this is the employees are not asking for this. The directors who are managing them are not asking for this. This didn't come from those who are impacted. This didn't come from those who are closest to the situation. It came from those on this board looking to prove a point and take a political stand. And that's not the way to do government. That's what we've seen on the national level. We've seen that with broken government. And that's not how we should be ruling our, or, or, or governing in our township. We shouldn't be doing it to make a point. We should be doing what's right for our township. Um, ultimately, paying $350,000, not of our money, of taxpayer money, to dramatically increase pay for 
who are the vast majority of the people are students who are working six weeks a year for the township or five hours or less a week for the township, to spend $350,000 um, on that is not a good use of taxpayer money. There are a lot of things we've heard tonight that we need to spend our taxpayer money on, and this is not a great use for it. So I, I can't support this. While it may be well-intentioned, while the goals may be good, while it may align with some national platforms that a lot of us, including myself, agree with, I think it's very poorly thought out, and it's a, an example of really bad government, and we should not support this. Thank you.